Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by the shop. My name's Chuck, and uh, I'm gonna finally start working on the finishing of the uh, stand for the Arbor Press. There's the uh, wood mock-up and uh, link to a video. I think I'll give you a link. Uh, been some time in the uh, want the want to build list and uh, Memorial Day weekend and finally getting on it. Uh, a couple announcements real quick. Um, yeah, I, I, I announced on my Facebook uh, account that uh, my son Tim had gone back in the hospital basically uh, Tuesday 1.30 in the morning and uh, we managed to bring him home two days ago. Uh, he ended up with no aspiration of ammonia this time but a very similar uh, issues. Uh, but he managed to get uh, through it and healthy quick and he's back home. And again, I thank everybody for uh, your, your uh, support and prayers. Uh, he's, I think he's doing well and uh, geez, we were only out of the hospital for a week and we had to go back in. But that's, that's Tim's life and we take care of him. We'll, we'll, we'll get through it. Uh, second announcement uh, today, which is the 28th of May, is my 40th uh, wedding anniversary. And uh, my wife and I hopped in the uh, Corvette and we were going to go over to the coast to the beach. And uh, we didn't make it 15 miles to where you, uh, not even that, jeez. Anyway, we were just getting on the, the road that takes you over the hill and it was a parking lot. So we turned around, came home, and uh, she went and did her thing and I've been getting to work in the shop. So anyway, enough, uh, enough jabber jaw. Uh, Here's a video ahead uh, of Tuesday, maybe on uh, Monday here. Uh, Memorial Day, you got nothing to do and you can watch a video. Hope you enjoy it and uh, we'll catch you again soon. Thanks for uh, stopping by the shop. Well, it's Saturday mid morning and uh, I'm finally trying to get back on the Arbor Press stand. I'm going to have to look and see. Uh, how long ago I started this. Uh, you can see there's a plate sitting there on my bench also that I was working on. And uh, I want to radius all the edges here. So let me, uh, I'm going to move the camera for a second so you can see what I'm looking for. And let's see, I think you can see the radius edge there. That's what I'm looking for on all the uh, plate. My goal was to try to make this look like it was a casted unit. And you can see the uh, router here. So I've tried this once before. I saw Tom Lipton do it. And uh, it killed the router bit uh, relatively quick. And I think I learned what the problem was, is that I didn't pre-grind away the flame cut, which I think is really, really hard. And so I just attempted it here. Uh, taking the grinders, giving myself a little bit of a bevel, and then uh, going ahead and using the, um, the uh, router. Uh, these are uh, bits from Grizzly. And so far this Grizzly bit is uh, holding up really well. Um, much, fa much better than the first one that I tried, which I thought was a fairly high dollar bit. So I think these are 12 bucks a piece. So the first one's in there. I've got a second one in case I kill it. And uh, I'll uh, back the camera away and let you watch a little bit.
it kind of gives you a look there. It's, uh, believe me, much simpler than uh, trying to use the grinder and doing the round over. So don't try to take a big cut right off the top, but work it in there. And uh, just looking for that radius edge, and it would have been really hard to do all these curves with a uh, grinding wheel. So uh, maybe bring you back a little later. Well, I thought I'd share how I uh, mounted my newest uh, grinder. I was looking at possibly building a stand, you know, similar to what I did on the Burr King. But uh, the Powermatic, my unit doesn't have the, the uh, side wheel uh, disc grinder on it, but it does have the mount. So I used that mounting point to go ahead and build a quick mount for the grinder. And uh, works well there. Um, kind of a temporary solution right now, but uh, it got it up out of the way and it got it into service real quick. Thought I'd uh, share that with you. Well, we're going a little bit handheld here. So, the, this is the uh, bit that I've been using. And this is the brand new one. I bought two of them. And I've been working a little hard with this one. And so I thought I'd put it here on the comparator and get a better view of it. It's hard to see with a naked eye. But this side over here is the new one. And this side is the one I've been using. And I don't know how the glare is coming out. But I think you can see the... Uh, wear in the blade there. Uh, it hasn't chipped, but it's been basically uh, working the carbide away. And you can see the nice clean radius on the brand new one. So I think it's time to uh, change over. I'm just uh, working too hard with the uh, other one and I'm on the last piece. So I uh, thought that would be interesting. Here again is just the, uh, the bit that I've been using. And to look at it, somewhat with the naked eye, it doesn't look too bad. Um, you can see the shiny spot there. I don't know if that's focusing or not on the wear. But like I said, I'm going to switch over to the to the new bit. There's how we uh, at our side gate. Some people are walking by with their dog, and he wants to know who's leaving a pee mail on his bushes out there. We'll go check it later, Howie. Now this is the first router bit that I used that I just had in my drawer. It was brand new. And you can see, compared to the Grizzly, uh, it didn't live long. It wasn't happy cutting the steel. But I have to say, the uh, carbide in that Grizzly is, uh, is really tough stuff. But this one didn't live very long at all. Well, 
months ago, this dummy made a big mistake. <laughs> yeah, as you can see behind here is the wood mock-up and I built, I call it a window. It'll be welded in there and here's the piece I built to weld in there. I think I made it a little big. I don't know where I got it in my head, but I made the dimension the full length of the top rather than the inside of the window. So I'm going to end up having to slice it now and uh, narrow it and weld it back together. I'd like to blame it on Bozo, but I think I just blame it on me being a dummy. Anyway, thought I'd share. Be back. You know, it's funny uh, that window being too large. It's been sitting there and I've grabbed and moved it in the last months dozens of times. And it was just the other day I looked over and I went, huh? What the hell? Oh well. Well, I think I'm uh, pretty much done with the, all the grinding, the radiusing. Um, so I had to just, uh, just to uh, keep myself uh, enjoying the project, I uh, had to use my uh, Mega Square from Fireball Tool and just do a little mock-up just to look at it. Break it apart and uh, continue on. But uh, it's getting there. The goal is to finish it this weekend. Well, time to start fixing my mistake. Well, my camera battery went dead, so I had uh, more clamps on it than what's on there right now. But uh, just starting to put it together. The uh, Fireball Mega Square, I'm loving it. I actually have the little 8 inch one there behind there. I was using that earlier also, just to get everything aligned. And uh, I went to turn on my uh, Argon bottle. Couldn't figure out why I couldn't turn it on. That's because I left it on. And uh, the bottle for the uh, MIG. And uh, so I just about out of gas. It bled down. So I'm just tacking it with my little 135 MIG right now just to get it tacked with some light tacks in it. And then. Uh, pick up a bottle on Tuesday to finish putting it together. But anyway, just a quick update where it's at. Well, this is the end of uh, part one. I've got it all tacked together and uh, it'll be ready to, uh, to weld once I get some uh, gas for my MIG welder. Just had the top plate sitting up there clamped, but uh, it's looking good. So this will be the end of this show. Catch you on the uh, finish of it.